Hello everyone, I am Neeli Srividi from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology and in today's session we will cover force vibration due to rotating as well as reciprocating unbalance. Okay, so here for the base of our theory we have to consider the force vibration theory so you have to check it. Now let us have the diagram as <laughs> M is the total mass of a system. Now, this kind of system is generally used uh, as a uh, pump or a motor. As you see, the outside of the, the substance or the subject or object is a steady mass. And inside there is some rotating mass. It is just like that system. So, here M minus M0, the total mass of a system is M. Okay. And M minus M0 is a steady mass. So, what is the M0 mass? It is the rotating mass. Total mass is M. M0 is the rotating mass. So here if we subtract that M0 mass from the total mass, we will get the steady mass. So in our case, M minus M0 is a steady one. M0 is the rotating mass. Now this rotating mass rotate at E eccentricity as you see in this diagram. The whole uh, the system uh, mounted on spring as well as damper from the base. Okay, now let us assume by rotating uh, this masses, by rotating the rotational mass M0, we will get the amplitude towards upset and that amplitude will be Y if we assume. The total system moves X in the upward direction and M0 will move Y in the upward direction. Okay, so M0 will move with respect to the system, it means X displacement as well as Y displacement in the <coughs> upward motion. Okay. Now, suppose you see this uh, triangle as connected with 0 to M0 and the distance is Y. What is this Y value? The Y value is as E sin omega T. Okay. So, Y dot is E omega cos omega T and Y double dot as minus E omega square sin omega t. As you know, we have to differentiate all this y value with respect to t and we will get the answer as this. Now here, as we have already discussed, what is m minus m0? It is the steady mass. Okay? And m0 is the rotating mass. m minus m0 will move apart only x displacement. Okay? So the x displacement is of a spring. It is in the damper and as well as steady mass only, M minus M0. Now, instead of this M minus M0, the mass, which is the rotating one, will rotate and will move. How, how much value? It, it will uh, tend to move up to X with respect to the total steady mass. As well as including this X value, it will also move Y displacement. It means the total displacement of F0 should be X plus Y. Okay. Now let us have the uh, displacement of M0 mass. It is X plus Y. And what is Y? It is E sin omega T. Now what should be the velocity? So the velocity of M0 mass is M0 X dot plus E omega cos omega T. It is just as simple as we have already done in our previous lectures. Now what is the acceleration of this M0 mass? The acceleration of M0 mass is as M0 which is the uh, constant value x double dot minus E omega square sin omega t. Okay. So this is the acceleration of M0 mass. Now you can see the uh, free body diagram of our system as M minus M0 x double dot which is the uh, acceleration of the steady mass acted in a downward direction. M0 x double dot minus E omega square sin omega t which is the inertia acceleration and inertia force of M0 mass acted towards the downward direction. Spring force as Kx and damping force as Cx dot both are in the downward direction. Now let us solve the equation. As we see in a free body diagram, let us have the force calculation. So, what is the force calculation? It is M minus M0 x double dot plus M0 x double dot minus E omega square sin omega t plus Cx dot plus Kx is equal to 0. We have to add each and every value. 
Why we have to take the summation of all these values? Because all the forces are acted in the same direction. Hence, they all are summed. Now, let us solve this equation. As you see, uh, m x double dot minus m zero x double dot. And in the uh, exactly next data, it is plus m zero x double dot. Hence, they both can be cancelled. Now, by solving this equation, what we will get? We will get mx double dot plus ax dot plus kx is equal to m0 e omega square sin omega t. Now, if you remember your force to vibration theory, it is just like that kind of equation. So, let us compare it with the standard equation of the force damped vibration. And what is the equation? It is mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to f0 sin omega t. And what is f0? It is <coughs> m0e omega square as in our case. Okay. So now let us put this equation in our standard x equation. So what is the standard x displacement? It is f0 by k root of 2 zeta omega by omega n square plus 1 minus omega by omega n square whole square. Okay. So now put the value of f0 in the equation. What is f0? m0 e omega square. So let us put m0 e omega square by k upon root of 2 zeta omega by omega n whole square plus 1 minus omega by omega n whole square whole square. Okay. Now let us multiply and divide with m. Okay. So, if we multiply and divide with m, the value will not change at all. Now, let us solve this equation. By multiplying and divide with m, what we will get? We will get m0e m, m0e by m, omega <coughs> square by k. Okay. Now, in this case, m0m can be uh, common out and then e by m, omega square by k. We can write like m e omega square by k. Now, what is m by k? m by k is 1 upon omega n square. Here, hence, we can write m0 by m e omega by omega n whole square. Okay. Now, omega by omega n whole square, it means r square upon under root of 2 zeta r whole square plus 1 minus r whole square whole square. So, here, this is our equation. Okay. Now let us solve this equation as x upon m0 e by m is equal to r square upon under root of 2 zeta r whole square plus 1 minus r square whole square. Now what is r? It is omega by omega n whole square. If you solve by your own, you can easily find out the solution as this is. Now, in this case, what is M0? It is the rotating mass. What is M? It is the total mass. Okay. What is E? It is the eccentricity. What is R? It is the speed ratio. The value of speed ratio is omega by omega n. What is zeta? It is damping factor. Okay. So, here we will get the value in this form. Okay. Now, let us have our next theory which is forced vibration with respect to the reciprocating unbalance. Okay. Now, let us consider our reciprocating system. So, what is the reciprocating system? Now, reciprocating system is as there is a piston connected with the connecting rod and having the radius and the radius value is eccentricity E. We can write down it at E. Now, M minus M0 is a steady mass. M0 is a rotating mass. And all the system is tend to be uh, placed on spring as well as damping system. It means if you see this system or analyze this system, you will understand this that the system is just similar just as our previous theory like rotating unbalanced system. Okay. Now let us have the uh, force values of M0 mass. So, M0 mass will tend to act at omega t angular displacement. Okay, it is having the omega t angular displacement. So, if we take the component in a horizontal as well as vertical direction, it is M0 cos omega t in a horizontal direction and in the vertical, it is M0 sin omega t. 
So, if we consider this along the line of stroke and the whole of the system will tend to move toward upper direction, the three body diagram is just similar as rotating mass theory. Okay, so here if the three body diagram is as similar as the rotating mass theory, the solution should be just similar. So here in this case, we do not consider the <coughs> secondary forces. As in the reciprocating masses, we are considering the secondary forces. But because omega is very very small and we are considering that only the primary forces. Hence, we do not consider the secondary forces. So, what should be our final equation? It is as similar as rotating mass equation. So, if we compare this with our forced damped vibration equation, what should be the equation? mx simple dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to m0 e omega square sin omega t. As we all know, so final solution is as x is equal to m0 e omega square by k under divide by under root of 2 zeta omega by omega n whole square plus 1 minus omega by omega n square whole square. Now let us put omega by omega n as r and multiply and divide by m we will get the final solution as x upon m0 e by m is equal to r square upon root of 2 zeta r whole square plus 1 minus r square whole square. So, here both of the theories will get the same solution. So, if we study about rotating masses, if we study about reciprocating masses and final solution of the displacement of the system is just similar as it is. Okay. Uh, in the rotating masses, we have to assume our uh, motor or the pump or compressor and if we are considering the reciprocating masses, we have to consider our IC engine itself. Okay, so final solution should be same. Thank you so much.